everyone and welcome back to craft time after rhyme time. Today, if you watched Miss Neutra's video already, the letter is L. And for L, we're going to be making a lion. I'm going to make this lion out of some simple shapes with some scrap paper we have around. Now remember, if you don't have colored paper, you can take white paper, color it in with a marker, and then cut out your shapes. So let's go grab our supplies and get started. For our lion craft, we're just going to need some orange, yellow, white, a little bit of black or brown. Now, if you don't have these colors, remember you can always take a piece of white paper, color it in with a marker, and then cut out our shapes. So the first shape we're gonna be cutting out is a circle with a wavy line around it. So I'm gonna draw that in. You can trace a circle or you can do it by hand. Don't do it in the middle because you wanna be able to use your extra fab or paper. So I'm drawing my circle. It can be as big or small as you want and then a wavy line around it. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. Remember, move your paper, not your scissors. Here we go. Now we're gonna want two yellow circles cut out. I'm just gonna fold my paper in half and cut it twice. And we'll cut it once without cutting it twice. There we go. Got my two cut out. So I realized that I made my yellow circle for the head way too big. I'm just going to cut that out again. That's okay. And that's going to go right there. So we have our body, we have our head, we have our hair. So now we need to cut out our white pieces. So I'm going to fold and I'm going to be cutting two little white pieces right there. These are for where those whiskers come out of. So we have two little ovals. gonna go those are a little bit too big I'm doing everything too big today there we go two white ovals right there then we're gonna want two white circles for the eyes and then two black or brown circles for inside the eye and if you have squiggly eyes those would be perfect too You can also color in your eyes. So those will go right there. And then we want a little bit for the tail. So I'm just folding up a scrap piece of orange and I'm making some cuts into it. Shake away those little flyaways. And I can unfold it and pick that best section. There we go. And there is our tail. Now we can add in some details like some speckles on these white ovals. And oh, can't forget the nose, a little triangle. And now we're going to glue that all together. And there is our little lion. 
So I hope you had fun making your lion. I think mine looks a little silly, but that's okay. I was like, should I redo it? And I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna show. Sometimes the first one doesn't always look the best and that's why you try again. And I think I should have probably made that orange a little bit bigger. His mane's kind of small. It's like he just went for a haircut, but that's okay. So I hope you had fun making your lion and I hope to see you next time for craft time after rhyme time. Bye friends.